The presidential candidate in the Philippines has refused to apologize for some outrageous remarks. I mean, it concerns the rape and murder of an Australian missionary. It happened in Davao City when Rodrigo Duterte was its first term mayor. At a campaign rally, he's quoted as saying, I was angry she was raped, but she was so beautiful, I think the mayor should have been first. Now his party issued a statement to apologize for the comment, but CNN Philippines reports that he now says he would never apologize for those remarks. Uh, despite the controversy, Duterte remains the front runner in the election. Alexander Field has been following the story for us. And, and Alex, just give us a forensic analysis of those comments. Exactly what did he say? Why did he say it? Right, these were comments that he made at a rally. He's referring to this really horrific crime, the, the gang rape, the murder of a woman, not only calling her beautiful, but saying that the mayor should have been first when, of course, he was in that office. So this is the kind of yeah. remark that has resonated and rippled well beyond the Philippines. It's, of course, making international headlines. But the, the ground lay here is that you've got supporters who are really staunchly behind this candidate. Uh, he's in the front of the pack. He is the clear front runner here. And they are really continuing to express their support for him, where you have critics who who were not in his camp already, who are really loudly uh, bashing the candidate because of these remarks at this point. The party did come out. They issued this apology to the Filipino people. However, the candidate himself has said, when pressed by reporters on whether or not he really is sorry, he has sort of waffled. He has said, don't press me too much on it. He has said, this is the way that I speak. And he believes that that resonates with the people. And it has resonated with some of the voters. He's saying that he's someone who is plain spoken, speaks truth to power, and it does seem to be tapped into this sentiment that some voters do feel where they don't want the situation of politics as usual. Christy. He remains unapologetic despite international condemnation about this joke, a joke about a rape and murder um, that took place in 1989. He has a number of supporters, including his own daughter. What are they saying? Right, his own daughter, who is also a survivor of rape. She was on social media pointing out that fact. Not only oh, was she uh, uh, coming coming into public view, um, acknowledging that to the public, but she was also supporting her father in that context and saying that she would still vote for her father. Listen to how she put it. It was really a bad joke. It was a really bad joke, if it was indeed a joke. It was a bad joke. All I'm saying is his being a joker doesn't affect his performance. All right, you heard his daughter there, somebody who's been one of his most public supporters, saying this was a joke. It's certainly not being received as a joke by those who are uh, criticizing him for making these remarks that have been considered by some to be incredibly vulgar and incredibly offensive. But when you take a look at the issues that are important to people in this election, you've got joblessness. That's the number one issue to people. Number two is crime and drugs. Number three is government corruption. And when we speak to analysts who are taking a look at the field here, they say that this is somebody who, in his plain spoken sort of way in a way that is perceived as some as being offensive has really tapped into voter anger concerning those second two issues both the issue of crime he's taken a lot of credit for cleaning up crime in the city where he was mayor and also this idea of government corruption he's saying that he is someone who is not like the other politicians it's working for some of the voters Christy and being quote unquote plain spoken he has a record of saying these kind of inflammatory things right he's done this before absolutely uh, he's got a well documented record of making comments uh, that women find offensive he's also made some very blunt comments about criminals that some people have found offensive or frankly uh, inappropriate for a politician. Others say it is aggressive. But the platform that he is running on is really he's pointing to his success as a mayor, what he calls his success as a mayor, for more than three decades. He's saying that he is somebody who has a record of cleaning up crime. It's an important issue in the Philippines. He's saying that he can replicate that. But at the same time, while he is talking big talk about going after criminals in this country, uh, you've also got human rights activists who are mm. saying this is somebody who should be investigated. They're pointing to the fact that a thousand people have disappeared from his city during his tenure. They are saying that uh, these are people who were killed in extrajudicial ju killings by vigilante groups. They have questioned whether the mayor is linked to these groups. He is denying that. but continuing to say that he is tough on crime and very tough on criminals. Well, uh, additional areas to investigate. No wonder this candidate has triggered this political firestorm in the Philippines. Alexander Field reporting. Thank you.